Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Essence of Polish. Today we're going to be doing a simple art deco design. So I'm starting with painting my nails with Alvia in the number 37. It doesn't have a polish name. Then I'm going in with Sesh Vite for my top coat. I like to do my cleanup after the top coat even though Seshmeet is a really good top coat, a really good fast drying top coat. Still just like to do cleaning after top coat because it gives it a little more time to dry my nails. And sometimes I have to put my hands in like weird positions so that I can pull the corner skin down just so I can really get a good cleaning. Next I'm going in with some striping tape and just to show you how I cut it real quick. I put the striping tape on a roll of scotch tape and by the way the scotch tape is not empty so you don't have to wait until you use all the scotch tape to use an empty roll to put the striping tape on just so you know. But yeah I did that and then just pull it out and cut it just like you would when you're using the scotch tape. But the little tear dispenser is not going to work for this thin tape. You have to cut it with nail scissors. After cutting the striping tape, I just applied it on my nail in random places. And now I'm going on top of that with uh, Kiss Gel and the name Antique. And I really like that name, Antique or Brown. That's a really nice name. It makes me think of an old antique shop. I'm going to do two coats of the brown. So while it's drying a little bit on my index finger, I'm going to go ahead and apply some tape on my middle finger. Then go back to the index, apply the second coat, and pull the tape up. I hope y'all caught that because sometimes I feel like I be confusing people. <laughs> I used an orange stick to really press the tape down on the sides, but sometimes you will still get polish seeping under the tape. So how I fix that is I just use the same red that I used to cover up any brown that got seeping, that started seeping under the tape. And by the way, I did apply the tape randomly and different on each nail. Next I'm going in with Broadway top coat but I'm not using it as a top coat I'm just using it as a clear to stick down some gold holographic glitter and so what I'm doing now is just applying the glitter in between the lines where the red polish is showing. Then as I finish with each nail I'm going to go ahead and top coat it. And by the way, if you're enjoying and you're new here, then please do subscribe. I'm really sure you'll like my channel. We'll love to have you here.
I couldn't squeeze in everything I wanted to say so there'll be more useful information or useful tips in the description box also you can follow me on Instagram I have some additional pictures posted over there so if you want feel free feel free to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video